cannot, I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot work, I can't. Sammy. Look all the orders I have. What do you want? Nothing. Go, 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 go to the kitchen. La, 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 la. Hey everyone, today is Wednesday, and guess what? This is going to be completely different than any video I have made. So, I like watching Gordon Ramsay. I don't care if it's Kitchen Nightmares, if it is, um, I don't think it's called Hell's Kitchen. If it is watching him with the junior um, chefs or if it is with the adults. I just like watching him. Anyway, so last night I was watching television and Gordon Ramsay came on. He, he was on with two different... Um, two different restaurants. Um, one of them was on this one that I it just couldn't believe. Okay, so I came across this episode, um, I think it was season seven. Um, it was one I've never seen. It was called uh, Amy's Banking Company. And it is out of Scottsdale, Arizona. So, her video wanting Gordon Ramsay to come was basically nothing on her. She is spotless. She's this perfect um, chef, or so she thinks. She complains about her husband. He is does too much. He needs uh, help and organization. Anything with 30, change it. We are ready. Come okay. On, guys. Good evening. Do you guys know what you want? Three and tomato sauce. All right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Miranda may be the only server on staff. I can't do the computer, so he's the only one that has control over that. But she is not allowed to input orders pour wine or handle money. The ravioli and then they want yeah, the pizza I after. I know what it is. The only one who can do that is Sammy. Okay, okay, just move, 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 I know. Sammy thinks that he's doing everything all by himself. For C. But Sammy doesn't realize he's actually messing everything up. I need another wine. I cannot work, I cannot, I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot work, I can't. In the front. So, Gordon, Gordon Ramsay puts up um, cameras all around before he goes in so he can see what goes on and his crew catches um, them yelling at customers kicking customers out and wanting them to pay for food they did not get while they're kicking them out her threatening she's gonna call the police kicking them out screaming at them calling them names Stop it! Stop it! Stop what? It's in the oven. We're waiting on one It's coming now. It's coming now. Now. You keep saying that. You've been saying that for an hour. Look at him. He's like, where's my pizza? <laughs> really? Send him home! Yeah, you have a pizza. It's coming. You want to wait? You wait. You don't want to pay what you have and you fuck off from here. Do you understand? Sammy? You Do you understand? Off? You fuck yourself! Go out, you motherfucker! Are you fucking kidding me? No, 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 yeah, I fucking fuck you! Sammy, call the police! It's not my police! I'll you, pay and go! Stop! 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 Are they for real? What is it mean? I'm in the office! Don't call the police, you crazy! Where's the pizza? In the oven, he can suck it! You pay! You don't go! You, if you touch up, I fucking... You can come help, I told you! You go! Fuck you! Fuck you! No, I'm kidding, I'm fuck you! Not kidding you, I fuck you! Call the Pay I'm the money. Him. No, I want the money from him. I am calling the police. You guys are fucking No, crazy. he's just calling the police. I know, but hey, you're not touching him. Get away. Motherfucker, you, motherfucker. you are. Fucking piece, you of, piece shit. of shit. You are a little pansy. Get Amy. out of here. Don't yeah. ever come back here. You little weenie. Keep walking. Fuck you. Give me a break. This is, you guys, I make excellent food. 
You motherfuckers, you all think that you can come in here and say these things. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. And uh, so Gordon Ramsay, he goes in and he tastes about four different um, things on their menu. And it's all disgusting. Uh, only thing good was a cake she had made. And maybe that's her thing. Maybe she just ought to just stay in baking and baking cakes. So anyway, he tries to talk to him. She says no. She's never had any complaints. Chef Ramsey, I would like you to understand just something. Yeah, I'm finding it right now. I want It's to... difficult to understand you one little bit. I've got nowhere to go. Every time I say something to you, you just no. say, hey, my customers love it. I'm not going to talk to you right now because I have to concentrate well, then, on the line. Stop. Concentrate, then. I will. You're the one who just said you want to talk to me. I so did. I wanted to explain to you oh. that I'm not here to you say. You don't even let me speak, so there's no point in talking to you. Try. Just like my husband's. Uh, nobody's ever said that it's the best thing in the world. And um, the waitress doesn't get any tips. Too. How can you attract good staff when you don't give them the tips they deserve? My husband pays those girls $9 or $10 an hour to listening. do nothing, not OK? They don't deserve those tips. If they could work like my oh husband my worked, God. if they could work like my husband works, and it didn't require him to run like four me? people, they would get their tips. He's told them, You're run like I run and work like How I work deluded. and you can have your tips. I am deluded. You're right. Oh my Tips go to the owners because the owner does more of the work than she does. And Sammy is her husband who has well over a million dollars invested and has more money even if the restaurant is tanking. Good luck. Thank you. After Chef Ramsay left, it was just a dramatic mess. No, Amy, no! I'm not, I'm not Amy and Sammy thought everyone was out to get them. Attitude I've never seen in my life. They fired everyone, told everyone they can do everything on their own. The next day I was called and Amy and Sammy begged for me to come back, so I did. Thank you. You're welcome. Sammy and Amy saw that I had taken a $5 tip from my customer and had a huge fit over it and told me that I'm a thief and get out of his restaurant. And I threw the money at them and I walked out and told them, don't ever talk to me again. I'm done with this place. A lot of my friends have actually gone there just to check it out because now it's like a tourist site. Everybody wants to see if Amy was actually that crazy. We honestly went in with Let's see if the food is really as people say. One of our friends ordered a drink, got it, noticed that there was something floating in the drink. It had three fruit flies in it. We called Sammy over and he got really upset and he said, there are no flies. He never even acknowledged that there was anything wrong. I said to him, we didn't bring flies in our pockets with us. And he just said, you have to go, you have to go, you have to go. We thought they would kind of wanting to be, you know, pleasing everybody and wanting to have the customers and, you know, but they were exactly like we thought they were. They're trying to cash in on their notoriety. If you go to their website, they're selling t-shirts that are printed with lines from the show. It's not a classy move, but becoming a tourist attraction where they basically make fun of themselves, I think is the only way for them to survive. It's definitely turned into a spectacle that if you're in the area, you just have to see what it's all about. So Sammy seems like he knows what's going on. He really wants the help, but Amy is the anchor and she's flat out pretty much saying no. And, you know, so Gordon tries really, really hard to sit with these people and finally he's had enough. He does something I have never seen him do. He gets up from the table and he leaves. And he says, I can't help people who don't want to be helped. Just cool down, Amy. All we've done, all that's happened is we have been attacked. 
attacked. Attacked. Why are you behaving like this? Because I'm insulted. You verbally insulted me yesterday, and I held my tongue out of class. I didn't tell you the truth. I didn't say nasty things to you. Really? Okay, really, I didn't, really. When I told you about the burger, you refused to listen. You don't understand. You're judging me on you coming in here, disrupting the entire service. I've been doing this. Disrupting? You did disrupt us last night. How could I focus when you're on my food? When you're standing here and talking to my husband. What about when I cooked for you? Who disrupted you then? Everybody. What are you talking about? Blaming everybody again. I do my best so our business doesn't close because we can't find qualified people. You go get Miranda and that little Katie and Jessica. Bring them here the and reason, let me see how they, they work. Back Will you yet? do that? Of course. They're, oh. Do you know what? They're scared of you. They're scared. And they're embarrassed. But unfortunately, you've convinced yourself in your little Amy's world that everything you cook, touch, send, is perfect. I do not. What? I Are you, am I arguing? Garlic with garlic you? as well with white truffle. Well, that let me delicious. show you some. Can I show you reviews? Hundreds of reviews oh, no. that are excellent that oh, no. we didn't write that Not are from real customers. On the again. No, good reviews, real customers that have supported us look, for look six years. You, look at the way you. You're attacking my business attacking. and my life. This is I'm all I do is live this life every day. You're not telling me the problems. You are saying I'm delusional. I'm this. Oh, I'm this. I'm this. Can we talk about what we came here to speak about, please? Yeah, let them feed it. Yeah, I want them to You told me to be honest. I am always honest. About the problems that you've had, that you cannot talk to your wife, and the issues that she can't take criticism before yeah, she knows I met That's fine. I have no problem saying that. That's fine. Wow. I think you're too far gone. OK, then let's end the show. You think I'm too far gone. There's no hope. Yalla, yalla. It's Christmas. Let's go home. OK. I can't help people. They can't help themselves and cannot ever take one ounce of criticism. And if you're not willing to change, I'm not going to butt heads, argue, scream, whatever you want to say. But this is not normal. And it's not normal for a restaurant to go through that many staff. It's not normal for a kitchen that small to have 65 items on the menu. And it's not normal for the level of animosity that you've built inside this restaurant and outside. You have the right to run the business the way you want to run your business. I have the right to do the right thing. And the right thing for me is to get out of here. Good luck. Wow. Yeah, of course that's what I wanted. Participate in this bullshit. Give me a break. Can they take this thing off of me? We don't need his help. Maybe he knows that. It all has to come down. And now he's gone. He walked away. He'll go on with his life. Sammy and I will go on with our life. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't no, fuck no, no. with me. Yeah, I will fuck with you. Yeah. Who the fuck you think you are? Oh my God, Sammy's going to hurt him. No. He is standing there riding my ass about white truffle oil and garlic aioli. Oh my God, like he's never heard of it. I have never, ever seen him leave a restaurant without helping them. But these two are characters. So then the next show comes on. And it is, where are they now, or something like that. They're going back to ABC, Amy's Bakery Company. And um, so people um, are leaving a lot of hate mail. They Sammy says that he is organized and very courteous with his staff. But when you see him interact, it tells a different story. He says this is all put up, set up. Let's take a look at this, and I'll sure. let you respond. Okay. You son of a you No, you I'm not going to get out of here. Don't speak again. Go out. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I'm not you. Sammy, call the police. Shut up, police. Call the police. You pay him off. You pay. You don't go out. You, if you touch a you go from me help, I told you. You go. You. You. Are you kidding me right no, now? I'm kidding. I'm you. No, I'm kidding. You. I'm you. Tell the customers they're going to get yeah. their tips. No, they don't. They should be told that you're taking them yeah. because this service deserves yeah. them. You want to speak with me? Yeah, I want you to speak with you. You want to with me? I will with you.
Um, yeah. Well, I've, yeah. I've eaten a lot of places, some nice, some not so nice, but I, I don't think I've ever had somebody come out and offer to whip my ass. <laughs> there were all those people you see, they were actors for Kitchen Nightmare. And they were Yelpers. They were not customers at all. My customers, I behave differently with okay, my customers. Now we did a drill down on that, and these people are not actors. No, they are actors just, they want to be shown. And they came just to disturb well, my but life. you said they're actors. That's not no, true. No, no, when I say actors, actors uh, uh, from the street, they come just to, uh, to harass me. Listen, you don't throw gas on a fire. Why take the bait? Well, what Because you, you say it's just editing, 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 but come on. They didn't, that was, that was an edit, I'm sure, around that, but know, you, that I, was I you actually doing it's that. Me. Yes, I did that, of course, yeah. But why do if that? Somebody, You're playing into their hands. What do you want me to do, to bend over? <laughs> No, what do you want me to do then? If somebody, no, they came to attack us. Well, are those the only two choices? Well, is either we bend over them? or, we or go on the attack? We Which weren't allowed another choice. Oh. That's why we're here. We weren't allowed another choice. The what? world was introduced to us in the wrong foot, the wrong way. We were never allowed a second chance. Yes, if someone comes to attack us, we're like snakes. You don't mess with a snake in the desert and go poke it unless you desert. You expect to get bitten. And if we bite you, you're going to go down. We're here to fight and stand up for ourselves. They don't like the way they treat the customers, and it doesn't matter if they are a customer or not. They, they don't like the way they treat the customers because now they've seen exactly what they do, and um, they have had so many, so many customers, and so many um, customers and staff in and out. Uh, she says that they just come in. Uh, my kid's a tourist attraction, and, you know, so now they feel like freaks, but it's a bunch of Yelpers, and she always has an excuse as why they're getting all these bad reviews, and they retaliate, and that's a big no-no. They should never retaliate. Then she says that they, um, their Facebook had been hacked, and it wasn't them, and they were so and they're sorry. And um, so and now their food still hasn't changed. They haven't changed the way they're acting. And you know, it's a beautiful place. It's very organized. They just need some people that can really run the place. And that's not them. So, um, anyway, uh, they've got all kinds of stuff, um, up about them, and, I mean, people just ran with it, and, you know, I can see why. I mean, if you look at her in her eyes, she's crazy. She's a crazy woman. And I see Sammy as the, uh, she, she is the dominant one in the family. And he just kind of bows his head and it's just whatever she wants and whatever she says. Because he can't even tell her when something is wrong with a food or a plate or somebody complains about something. He just lets her think that everything that she's cooking is fine and it's not. So if you can't give, if she can't take um, criticism, then she she doesn't know what she's making is bad or if it's yeah if it's just disgusting. So anyway, so that was a very interesting um, episode. Um, both of them. I just, you know, he, he butts heads with people who, you know, just don't want to, don't want to give in. They're, they're set in their ways. They're hard-headed and, uh, so, but these people, 
these were off the chain. These, um, their their ship must have landed from a different planet. They're they're really different, and uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, if I ever go to Scottsdale, Arizona, I'm going to look up their address, and I'm going to be one of those sightseers. It just, just has to go in to see the place. Um, maybe I'll order a pizza, because that seems to be, like, the only thing that's, like, less than gross, or maybe a piece of uh, cake. Um, because Gordon Ramsay seems to think that the cake was okay, uh, uh, but not anything else. Um, I doubt it. So, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> she is ridiculous. And, uh, th there's gonna be some, there's gonna be some other, you know, other clippings in this clip, so. Well, just when we thought this controversy was fading, that Valley couple that got national attention for the very unique way, I guess that's a nice way to that's put it, that they it. run their restaurant, they're actually making waves again. Yeah, you heard of Amy's Baking Company, the Scottsdale restaurant, getting national attention when it was featured on Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. Well, people took to Twitter and Facebook and ripped on the owners for the way they responded to the criticism. Well, they're allegedly at it again, and this time it's actually in response to three reporters with the Phoenix Business Journal who say, they found some bugs in their drinks. ABC 15's Marilyn Resendez has both sides of this story. We were curious. Um, we went in, you know, just to have dinner. Haley Ringel and two of her co-workers had covered so much of the controversy surrounding Amy's Kitchen, they decided to try it out themselves, but say the dinner out quickly became a kitchen nightmare. Starting with the martinis they ordered. The group says Sammy, the co owner, served up not one, but three drinks with some unappetizing critters inside. He said there, it wasn't a bug, it was from the lemon. And um, so we brought over a third drink, and the third drink had three bugs in it. The group laid out the flies for the co owner to see and snapped this photo of them. I spoke with both Amy and Sammy, who didn't have time to meet us, but they wanted their story told. Amy wrote in a statement. We understand that there is a possibility perhaps one fruit fly made its way into the martini. But after the third time of being sent back, we felt that it was a setup. We didn't plant the bugs in there. Amy also writes, we tried to handle the situation professionally and graciously and asked them to leave. We were very shocked. We were like, we need to leave? You know, why? <laughs> because you have bugs in your drinks, you know? And um, he still, you know, would not say that they had bugs. Haley and her co-workers did leave, but still wanted to try a slice of Amy's famous cakes. They had a waitress from a nearby restaurant pick it up, only to find a fingerprint in the frosting. Amy's response, quote, I can only hope for their sake whoever did stick their finger in it didn't double dip, because it certainly was not us. In Phoenix, Mary Ellen Resendez, ABC 15 News. Well, they're certainly very colorful, that's for sure. We did ask Haley Ringel, by the way, what she would suggest to help fix the situation, and she told us that Sammy and Amy really need to take the advice given to them on Kitchen Nightmares. But she says they also need to learn to listen to their customers.
show. So, you guys have yourself a good day, and I will see you tomorrow.